we are discussing about uh, operational amplifier uh, introduced errors for DC application. So, uh, uh, there are various errors which we have discussed earlier, they are offset voltage uh, drift error, the uh, bias current uh, drift error, then uh, input impedance error, output impedance error, then CMR are introduced uh, error and then the gain drift error, these are the errors that uh, we have listed uh, earlier. And then we also discussed about what is the issue with offset uh, voltage drift and then we also shown uh, one worked out example because of the offset voltage drift how the error was uh, coming and what is to be done. Then next we discussed about uh, bias current error and because of the bias current uh, uh, that is flowing into the terminals of the op amp, uh, uh, the, there is a DC error at the output. Then uh, how to reduce that, that is what we were uh, discussing in the previous class. We continue that uh, in this uh, class now. So, the uh, bias current error is what that we are going to discuss in detail uh, today, bias current error. So, uh, what uh, we had done in the earlier class was that to remove the bias current error that the suggested method was that you have the two gain resistance here say R f and then R 1 and then the plus input what we are giving the input voltage and we add uh, for example, one uh, uh, series resistance here there is one possibility or even before going into that for example, if I can uh, look without the input uh, what we can do is that you have the input voltage here there is assume there is no input voltage then I suppose to get a 0 output voltage that we can achieve by putting this resistance R B because, because of a bias current we had shown earlier because of the bias current that is flowing into the uh, input terminals of the op amp that current actually flows through this uh, from the output it flows into this and then this flows into this and then in, uh, we are assumed I minus equal to I plus if I minus equal to I plus then if I add this resistance then this current also flows this I plus is flowing here then I minus is actually flowing here this is basically I minus the, uh, this current. So, by adding uh, this resistance we were generating minus voltage. So, uh, uh, by adding by adding R B negative voltage is introduced at the non inverting input so this negative voltage is compensated by the positive voltage introduced by the rf so the bias current that is flowing here bias current that is flowing to this terminal produces a positive voltage here and the bias current flowing through this produces a negative voltage at the output. So, uh, the, uh, to compensate that we have to make uh, the output voltage equal to 0. So, that means, uh, if I take R f, if I take uh, R f into I minus should be equal to R B into I plus R to come. Uh, uh, that will make uh, the output voltage equal to 0, there is no error due to the bias current. Uh, so, if I uh, that means, uh, if we uh, assume uh, uh, here we assume that the input voltage is R B into I B is the input voltage, of course, this is simplified by 1 plus uh, gain. So, we had if I had to do this, I had to put 1 plus G here because the whatever voltage that is uh, uh, applied here is uh, amplified by the gain that is 1 plus R f by R 1 and that is produced at the output. So, if you uh, continue this then it comes that will be R b into uh, I plus then you will get uh, 1 plus R f by R 1 that is what you will get this and if I equate I plus and I minus then soon you will get uh, R f will be equal to 
R B into 1 plus R by R 1. That will make because we want to know R B that what is to be connected there to what is to be connected at the non inverting input to compensate the error that will make uh, R B will be equal to R F by 1 plus R F by R 1 and uh, that on simplification you will get uh, this one R F into R 1. So, R B will be parallel combination of R F and R 1 because this this is nothing but appears as a parallel combination of parallel combination of combination of R F and R 1. That means, R B uh, value that is to be selected such that uh, that is parallel combination of these two is and added here that gives output voltage 0. Here the assumption is that R 1 is uh, 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 the assumption is uh, the assumption is I minus equal to I plus that is the two bias currents are equal, but uh, uh, in an actual case they are not equal. So, now we have to worry next what happens if they two are not equal because if they two are equal then one can make the uh, parallel combination of these two resistors can be put here then one can forget about the bias current effect. But unfortunately that I plus and I minus are not equal uh, and they are also changing with the temperature. So, that means we had find out what is the uh, net output error if I, uh, uh, I minus equal to I minus is not equal to I plus. So, if uh, if I minus is not equal to I plus. In fact, this is the this is in, in fact this is the real case. This fact, this is the real life situation. This is the real uh, life situation. So how to reduce the error. So, what you do is uh, assume, assume I plus minus I minus the difference as I offset, we call offset current I offset current. So, the difference between the two currents we call it as a offset current. So, if it, uh, offset current is the quantity that is given by most of the uh, operation of ferro manufacturers. So, if I know offset current then I should be able to find out the error. So, if the offset current is known then what is the error? If offset current is known, current is known then what is the error? That is the question. So, if it is known then if you look at the circuit again that you have uh, the two resistance here then assume that I have put here uh, R f and R 1 and let us say it is a 10 k and 1 k then the parallel combination of these two will be 1 k parallel 10 k roughly 1 k uh, you will be getting it here. So, close to 1 k will be the resistance that you would be connecting here. If offset current is uh, I offset is there then the extra error that is coming here would be then uh, V output error uh, is equal to uh, I offset I offset into R B into gain because the we can assume that the uh, assume that this uh, the plus current is more one easiest way of solving this would be assume this current is more and then this current is less 
then I can assume that this since this my resistance is put parallel connection of these two which makes the output 0. So, I can neglect the uh, from I plus I can subtract I minus and assume that only that much current is flowing here. So, we can say now that net current flowing here would be only the offset current, offset current into this resistance will be the uh, error voltage at the input multiplied by the gain is the error voltage at the output that is how that uh, uh, this equation had come. So, the error voltage V0 error voltage that is the uh, error voltage at the output voltage at the output output uh, is equal to um, voltage error voltage uh, uh, that is I offset I offset offset current uh, offset current into uh, R B into gain. Now, uh, this offset current uh, it depends on the operation only. For example, if I take 741, then uh, uh, offset current error is uh, uh, given as per 7, for example, for 741 op amp, I offset current, for example, uh, is equal to about. Uh, 1 1 nan ampere for example the 1 nan ampere so if i have 1k resistance then you will have only 1 microvolt but if you uh, uh, you know uh, per, you know per 741 it's around 10 nan ampere whereas if you take uh, bias current by itself they are at uh, 50 uh, nan ampere level so the offset current is much smaller so the error induced by the uh, uh, offset current is smaller if the resistance values are small. So, if it is uh, if the gain is 10 and if I had used 1 k and 10 k then the error would be uh, V 0 error, error would be uh, 10 nano ampere into 1 k into gain 10 that actually uh, uh, amounts to uh, 10 power uh, 10 uh, 10 power minus 4 volt at the output that is 0 0.1 millivolt error at the uh, output that it uh, uh, gives because of 741. If I use gain 10 with 1k and 10k combination whereas, if I go for higher reasons then the error comes very high. For example, if I set a circuit that is uh, the same gain 10 for example, I go for uh, uh, 9 mec and then 1 mec which gives me the gain 10 then I put this which will be 1 mec then uh, the error would be V0 error would be 1 mec into uh, 10 nan ampere into gain 10. So, that will be 10 power 6 into 10 power minus 8 into 10 that is 0 0.1 volt. So, the out error voltage error voltage due to bias current bias current increases pieces with the resistance resistance that is used to set the gain. So, higher the reasons then we have more problem due to bias current. The actual problem is the actual problem is not the bias current or offset current. This offset current is not constant. So, the offset current changes with the temperature this is the major problem rather than the offset current. So, the actual problem is the the offset current offset current is not 
constant it is it is changing with temperature it is changing with the temperature this this is called offset current drift current drift uh, offset current drift is more problem offset current drift is the problem current drift Offset current drift is a major problem. It's a major problem, and not the offset current itself. By itself, so offset current by itself is not a problem, but the offset current drift is the major issue. So, this offset current drift is a major issue uh, next to offset voltage drift because offset voltage drift uh, is independent of reasons that we are using, uh, but offset current drift depends upon the reasons that we are using. So, we at uh, this one that is offset voltage drift, offset voltage drift. Uh, is a major problem is a major problem and and it 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 doesn't depend upon it doesn't depend upon upon gain resistors gain setting resistors Now, the, uh, the offset current drift, the offset current drift is also, is also a serious problem, serious problem, serious problem. And it depends on the depends on the gain setting resistors gain setting resistors so one has to aware of uh, these two problems that is offset current drift and offset voltage drift and uh, these two are the main limiting factors in uh, operational amplifier applications uh, that is for the uh, operation amplifier DC applications. In AC applications, we need not worry about uh, these parameters. If you are using operation amplifier for DC applications, then only have to worry about these two parameters offset current and offset voltage drift. Uh, uh, now, uh, is there anything that one can do to remove the offset current drift or offset voltage drift? Why, uh, uh, what is that one can do? What is that we can do? We can do to 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 reduce the reduce the offset current drift. No. Uh, uh, is other than what we are trying to do is other than reducing the resistance values in the feedback network, what else that we can do to reduce the offset other than other than reducing the other than reducing the resistor values. Now actually uh, only charge that you have is uh, go for low bias current current or 
low offset current. Current op amps like like fit input op amps, fit input uh, op amps. So, if I use a low bias current up and obviously offset current also will come down, offset current drift also will come down. For example, fit input up amps are the uh, good choice to reduce the uh, uh, error due to the offset current. Because for example, if you compare 741 where offset current is a 10 and nano ampere for 741, for 741 offset current. current is 10 nanoamps. Now, same thing fed version available for 741, that is 1741 uh, which is which is fed input op amp. The offset current, the offset current current is 10 pi camps, where in pi camps say about 3 orders of magnitude less that is about factor of 1000 less. So, the offset current drift also uh, obviously uh, comes less and the error induced by that also will be less. So, if you want really uh, uh, working with the uh, uh, if you really want to use a very high resistance values then only have to go for fit input op amp. For example, we take uh, uh, pH meter amplifier, then we can understand the issue with the offset current much more easily. So, for example, uh, take a design of design of pH meter amplifier. If we take a pH meter uh, amplifier, then the circuit that we can uh, hear. Uh, one first thing is we select, select, select fit input op amp, input op amp. And second is uh, use, use the op amp in voltage flyer mode. use the op amp in voltage flyer mode. So, that we will explain this why one have to use in voltage flyer mode uh, in case of uh, uh, pH meter. This we will explain a little later. So, uh, what you do is we will take the operation amplifier, then I will use the voltage flyer mode and the input I will connect pH meter. For example, if you take uh, this uh, pH meter, pH probe, we have taken this example of pH probe because pH probe got very high internal resistance, internal resistance of the pH probe. Internal resistance. So, internal resistance of the pH probe is very high, internal resistance pH probe this probe is about 100 mega ohms. So, the internal resistance is very high. Now, if you look at the uh, bias currents they actually flows here as well as here and the bias current that is flowing here the bias current that is flowing into the uh, inverting terminal has no problem because they do not develop any voltage because there is no resistance here. So, due to this current I minus there is no problem whereas, this bias current have to go through this to the plus input. Now, this uh, current bias current have to go through this 100 mega ohm resistance. So, when they go through this the voltage drop will occur on this. So, essentially the bias current 
the bias current bias current uh, I plus that is uh, non inverting terminal bias current I plus uh, uh, must flow must flow through the flow through. So, I call it as uh, R R i input through R i. So, the voltage drop across R i that would be R i into i plus. This voltage actually the current uh, actually flowing like this. So, this voltage is minus. So, the net input voltage will be uh, voltage of the pH probe minus the voltage drop that had uh, occurred. So, uh, assume that pH probe gives you uh, 50 millivolt per pH. So, uh, pH probe, probe voltage is equal to 50 millivolt. We assume that. assume that pH probe voltage is 50 millivolt. Then, uh, then voltage across R i that is uh, equal to 100 mega ohm that is 10 power 8 that is 100 mega ohm into uh, I plus that actually 10 power 8 into I plus. Suppose, if it is a uh, uh, 10 by ampere then it will be 10 into pi k ampere. So, that will be uh, minus 12, then that will be 10 power minus 3 volts. That is here we have taken the I, I plus uh, here, here I plus is equal to uh, 10 pi k amps. The bias current is actually uh, very small. So, the error what you get is uh, t uh, 1 millivolt. So, the the actual voltage the actual voltage actual voltage that is appearing that is appearing uh, at the input is 50 millivolt which is pH meter only fair minus 1 millivolt that is 49 millivolt. In this case the error is very small. Suppose if I use uh, uh, the up amp which is having uh, 1 nano ampere bias current if the, the bias current One non ampere, then input voltage, then uh, then the error voltage, then the voltage drop, then the voltage drop on R i that is equal to 100 mega ohm into uh, one non ampere that is 10 power minus 9 that will be 100 millivolt. Uh, then then uh, net voltage net voltage at the non inverting input equal to entering terminal. Another uh, terminal would be equal to 50 millivolt minus 100 millivolt. That's equal to minus 50 millivolt. It's a huge error. The input voltage uh, polarity itself had changed. 100 millivolt error that comes because of the uh, 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 bias current. Of course, one can uh, make a voltage uh, follower in the following manner to take care of part of the bias current because you can also have 
resistance connected here and then we can have plus here and if I know this is R i, I also keep R i here. Then if these two bias currents are equal, if this uh, if the bias current of this and the bias current of this are equal, then output voltage will be 0. So, one can reduce the uh, bias current induced error in the voltage follower by adding a resistance uh, R i in the feedback path. So, uh, by adding a by adding a resistance resistance equal to equal to R i in the feedback path feedback path uh, one can feedback path uh, one can reduce the reduce the bias current error uh, however uh, we can only reduce we cannot make it 0 because there are two problems in this one it is not easy to find out the uh, value r i which is equivalent to uh, 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 exact value of r i we are not we are not able to put it here because the r i itself may be changing uh, from transducer to transducer. So, uh, it is not easy to each for each transducer find the R i and putting it exact value, but nevertheless the uh, R of magnitude uh, error can be reduced by making more or less equal value of R i um, uh, by connecting equal value of R i in the feedback path here to reduce this. Even then you have error because of the bias current because we know that uh, even if I make it uh, these two relations equal this and this equal the this current and this current may not be equal. So, because of the offset current even if uh, two reasons equal also you will have error. So, uh, even uh, if we manage to manage to connect connect R i exactly exactly in the feedback path feedback path due to offset current so the current current there will be error there will be an error voltage at the output In that case, the error voltage would be the error voltage would be uh, R i into I offset. Normally, offset current will be uh, one order uh, magnitude less than offset uh, uh, bias current uh, since since offset current offset current current is normally is normally normally less by an order of by an by a factor of factor of 10 factor of 10 by a factor of 10 uh, uh, by a factor of 10 adding adding reasons reasons in the feedback path in the feedback path path reduces the error So, this offset uh, uh, current is a serious issue when the input internal impedance is very large. So, for example, if the uh, thermo if the pH meter amplifier pH probe amplifier to work properly, then the RPH choice will be you have a 
resins connected here which is about 100 mg ohm and then select fit input op amp select fit input op amp that makes the, uh, the output error very small. For example, if you use the 741 for this application you will get tremendous amount of error uh, due to offset current and then also with temperature offset current will change and you will have a large temperature drift. That is why one have to worry about different uh, types of op amps that is like fit input op amp, low bias current uh, that is basically low bias current op amp and then low offset voltage uh, drift op amp uh, like that that is why we have very many different types are there. We will list it at the end. Uh, now we are uh, discussing about the error due to the uh, offset current. Now, since we are uh, at it that we also have to worry when we are selecting a low bias current op amp, uh, when we are making a printer circuit board layout, one has to be uh, careful about other uh, current that is uh, getting into the PCB, which is a much serious problem than this offset uh, current itself. Let us see what is that, uh, what is the care that we have to take when we are dealing with this low bias current op amp, uh, is used in the low bias current op amp. The, the leakage leakage current leakage current in the PCB will introduce introduce large error. This one had to be aware of it. Now, I can show you an example uh, here. For example, if I take a, a normal dual inline package uh, op amp that you will have the arrangement like this that is the op amp will look like this that is pin number CPC. For example, we have this and we have two power supply terminals plus and then minus and then this is input this is the output. So, we have this is minus 15 volt, this is plus 15 volt. For example, if you take this is pin number 3 and this is pin number 2 and this is 6, this is pin number 4 and this is 7. This is the typical uh, uh, configure most of the dual in line package uh, up up. Now, physically they look like this that you have uh, 8 pins 1, 2, 3, 4, and then another line you have this 8 pins. So, if I take uh, the pin numbers assume this is 1 and then this is 4 and then you have 5 and then 8 this is pin number 8 that is you have here pin number 1 and then this assume this is pin number 8 in the dual in line package and the distance between these two pins is 2.5 mm. So, the uh, distance actually this distance between between the two pins and is equal to 2.5 mm. Now, if you uh, see this one we would have connected this this is actually the this distance uh, uh, this distance between these two 2.5 mm. Now, if we connect the uh, circuit in reality, we will connect this one to minus 15 volt and then uh, 5, 6, 7 will be connected to plus 15 volt. So, we will take a layout and then we will connect uh, this one to plus 15. Then this is 2 and the 2 and uh, 6 are to be shorted. So, I will connect 2 and 6 like this. Then I have to connect uh, pin number 3 as an input. So, I will take pin number 3 and connect take this out in the layout uh, 
okay we will make the pcp layout uh, so it has certain thickness so this is input voltage okay this is connected to the i resistance and this has a very high resistance that is 100 mega ohm like that now in this case and then this will be taken as output this is uh, taken as output now in this case this, this is made in a printed circuit board and we said the distance between these two is 2.5 mm and then even if it is a class epoxy printed circuit board you will have uh, uh, certain amount of resistance across this it is not definitely infinity for example if it is a class epoxy printed circuit board then assume that this resistance that is the resistance that is present between this and this is 1000 mega ohm this is a 1000 mega ohm now this uh, minus 15 volt that is this uh, minus 15 volt goes through this uh, 1000 mega ohm then it actually goes like this goes to the ground and completes the path so what uh, really happens is minus 15 volt passes through this and that current produces a voltage across this assume the ph uh, probe voltage is zero that is it is a neutral solution assume assume that assume that v input is equal to zero r internal is equal to 100 mega ohm r leakage this is a leakage license R leakage put a thousand mega ohm. That means the minus fifteen volt now is minus fifteen volt is now divided between this thousand mega ohm and hundred mega ohm because this is hundred mega ohm. The internal resistance which is there and that assume there is no voltage since there is no voltage here. Uh, we expect 0 volt at the output that is in this is 0 and then the, this is having uh, 100 mega ohm this 1000 mega ohm if I draw the equivalent circuit that is actually here that is uh, that is here. So, you get this uh, minus 15 volt applied to the minus 18 volt applied to the plus input through this 1000 mega ohm and then it is divided between this 1000 mega ohm and 100 mega ohm. So, voltage at the plus input terminal would be because of this leakage uh, reasons because of the R leakage. Voltage at the non inverting. Input that would be equal to minus 15 into 100 mega ohm, it will be 1100 mega ohm because you have 1000 and 1000 mega ohm and 100 mega ohm are in series. So, you get this and that actually comes to be. Uh, 15 volt divided by almost uh, by a factor of uh, because this 1 by 11. So, that will be you will have 1.4 volt nearly. So, uh, roughly 1.4 volt error voltage appears at the input due to the leakage uh, resistance. This is a serious problem in high impedance circuits because you know we are dealing with a very high impedance and uh, the it is which is comparable with the PCB resistance. So, if I want uh, uh, use this uh, then uh, high impedance circuits uh, with high resistances so that the bias current uh, high resistances so that uh, the voltage drop is less and the bias current effect also less then I have to go for 
some technique to remove this uh, uh, power supply leakage uh, uh, voltage that is coming because of the limited impedance of the PCP uh, uh, material. Now, that is how to reduce this. How to reduce this error? This this is where the guarding technique comes into picture. So we use we use guarding technique. Guarding technique to reduce the error. error due to leakage resistance. Okay, what is that it is done in the guarding technique? So, the circuit looks like this. So, what you do is we take for example, both the, uh, the layout part. So, uh, layout part and the uh, circuit part see what is done is we have this uh, 8 pin IC. Uh, that is pin number 1, that is pin number 8. What we want is this. So, what you do is the, uh, the circuit configuration will be same. So, 1 and then this is 6, so 1 and 6 I join, then 3 is the input. So, I take 3, apply the input to as large resistance here. Then this point I take uh, this the pin circuit board extend it like this. Similarly, this part also I take this extend it. So, this terminal if you see now this terminal which is the input terminal is guarded at both end sides you know this and this are actually go, it is not connected anywhere here or here it is just extended like this. Now, this makes this error is uh, that is the uh, leak this uh, leakage is between this and this is not at all issue because now what happens we have we split this and see we have now leakage resistance between this and this we have a leakage resistance between this and this we have leakage resistance between this and this. So, I call this is R 1 this is R 2 and this is R 3, but then we know that output uh, voltage is same as input voltage. For example, if this is uh, 10 millivolt, then I know that this this also 10 millivolt and then the output voltage also 10 millivolt. So, this also 10 millivolt sitting. So, you have the say we pay name it that uh, 1, 2, 3. So, the track number 1 is also 10 millivolt and track number 2 also 10 millivolt, track number 3 also at 10 millivolt that is uh, track 1 is at 10 millivolt, track 2 is also at 10 millivolt. So, track 2 uh, because uh, input voltage is same as output. So, uh, so, track 1, 2, 3 all are at same. Uh, similarly, track 3 also at 10 millivolt. Since all of them are 10 volt, so current through R1 or current through R2 and R3 are 0. So, current through R2 and R3. So, this resistance has no effect. Uh, uh, now, if we see uh, uh, R1, R1 uh, you know this is connected to minus 15 volt uh, to minus 15 volt supply. Uh, this is pin number 4 which is the op amp supply which is minus this is 2 this is 3, this is 6 and then 4 and this is 7, this is minus 15 volt. 
this is plus 15 volt. So, the pin number 4 is at minus 15 volt. So, R 1 uh, current through R 1 is possible. So, now current uh, because this is at uh, uh, this is at 10 millivolt output is at see the output is at 10 millivolt we we'll assume here it is 10 millivolt. So, automatically output also 10 millivolt. So, the output is 10 millivolt and this is minus 15 volt. So, there will be a current through R 1. So, the leakage resistance R 1 will, uh, will have a current. Uh, however, however, the leakage resistance The leakage resistance uh, R1, R1 sees one side, so minus 15 volt, and at the other side, other side it sees minus 10 millivolt. So, there will be a current through R 1. So, there will be a R 1. However, this current will not produce any uh, error at the output. There will be a current through R 1 and that current actually flows through the output terminal. So, if you see this, this current minus uh, current R, we can take this current actually flows through R 1 and, and goes uh, like this, but uh, this will not produce error at the output because the output remains is 0. So, eventually we say the current flows through the R 1, uh, this current, this current R 1 flows through the flows through the through the output terminal of the op amp. Uh, Plus the output terminal of the op amp. However, this will not induce any error. Uh, however, however, this will not this or this this will not reduce any error at the output output the question is why why it will not reduce any uh, error now the answer is that the out because because the output terminals of the op amp is close to 0. The output resistance of the op amp is nearly 0. Nearly zero. So, uh, current flowing through that, current flowing through the output will not introduce any error. Um, uh, so, because output remains is uh, uh, resistance is 0, so the current flowing through this, uh, current flowing through this will not induce any error. So, this uh, system uh, works well. Of course, we may wonder that if what happens if I connect uh, one resistance between uh, 2 and 6, because in this case we are directly shorted uh, uh, this resistance. Instead of that, if I connect uh, uh, resistance between uh, 2 and 6, for example, here I add a resistance, then what happens? I will show in a separate figure to avoid confusion actually here. Because we said we add a introduce a resistance in the feedback which is equal to input resistance to reduce the uh, bias current error. Uh, 
what happens? What happens if we introduce reduce reduce compensating compensating resistance in the feedback path. Actually that is a serious problem here because if I put the resistance then it looks like this that is you have uh, up I introduce the resistance here which is equal to input input impedance. Now if I look at that in the uh, 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 layout uh, part then uh, as we said you know we will have pin number 2 and 6 instead of sorting it I have to put a resistance. Now the dis difference distance between these two is only 7.5 mm even if I manage to put this resistance 2 to 6 then 6 where well, this is to be uh, connected here then I will be following this uh, that is a guarding technique I will be using then I will be using here between these two uh, the guarding technique and this is connected to minus 15 volt this is connected to plus 15 volt. Now this is pin number 2, this is pin number 1 and this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8. Now since this is very high resistance, uh, the leakage resistance between this and this will produce a voltage at 2. So this is R leakage RL. So the RL I will induce error RL will introduce error at pin number 2. At pin number 2 and the guarding point has no use. The guarding point 3 point 3 is of is of no use. So one has to be careful when we are using a, a resistance in the feedback path to reduce the uh, offset uh, current uh, because as is shown here that uh, using the guarding technique reduces the error due to the uh, uh, leakage and so on. Uh, but if you are using a, a, a resistance in the feed, a feedback path then guarding technique also will not work. Uh, so one has to be aware of this. So the bias current or the offset uh, current or the offset current drift is a major source of worry for a circuit designer particularly if you are dealing with the DC voltage. And if your uh, input signal uh, is having a very high input resistance then also the bias current is a serious problem and uh, one have to be careful in uh, selecting the op amp for the particular application. That is why we have uh, op amp which is, uh, which is called as a FET input op amp which has a very low bias current and similarly we have op amp which has a very low offset voltage drift. Uh, we will see more about uh, these issues uh, later uh, classes. Thank you.